few days ago I removed the front mud guard as the accumulating mud stopped the front wheel from turning. This causes the radiator to turn into a brick even more. When the road lacks water holding potholes necessary to cool down the engine, water starts to boil out of the radiator. So every chance to clean the radiator to gain some cooling I take, or have it cleaned in this case. Having one muddy section after the other, I give up checking them out first. In this case that doesn't work out well for me. I'm in the track on the right side, but should have taken the left one. It's now a matter of getting the R1 over there.
every option to buy reasonable priced fuel like Grab. With 38,870 km on the clock, I need to replace the bike's first set of brake pads. Bon. Oh. Still. Ah. Je suis en train de changer les patins. Euh, changer le frein. Les freins là. Non. On te laisse. Après. The Congo River separates the two countries who are named after it. Uninhabited high-rise buildings, looted and partly burned out due to civil war. It turns out that I arrive on a Sunday, the day that there are no ferries leaving from the port from Brazzaville, so I pitch my tent on the quiet side. Between bales of shelled penis and dried corn, a ferry boat takes us to my next challenge, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and its capital, Kinshasa. a night in the yard of the police force. Commander Patrick felt his water for me.
It takes me 4 days to cover the 520 km from Kinshasa to Kikwit. Just before I get there, I noticed that the water pump is leaking. Luckily friends in Kinshasa had arranged on forehand that I can stay at Sulfur, a company which produces palm oil. Here I get all the help needed. But a new seal, no bigger than a few cubic centimeters, has to be flown in all the way from the Netherlands. I have no choice but to fly in an elderly Antonov 24PB back to the capital to pick it up. I also renew my visa and all the allowances that are needed to cross the country. I even get a special document directly out of the hands from the Minister of Defense. Now back in Kikwit, I can finally get the R1 ready for the road again, nearly seven weeks after I first got here.